Young Town. You'd better put that away. Junk Town is a friendly place, friend, and we want to keep it that way. Sounds fair. By the way, what is the local law regarding weapons? Good you asked. No weapons can be drawn except in self-defense. If you start a fight, it's your own fault. Other than that, it's your right to go around armed. Just don't pull a knife or a gun without just cause. Have a good day. Oh, I'll leave one in my... Leave that there. Can I help you, stranger? So, what's there to do around here? Plenty! So long as you stay on our good side. We got Killian Darkwater store where you can do some trading and there's Gizmo's Casino. If you're a gambler. Or if you just want a drink you can head on over to the scum pit. Just don't get too rowdy. See ya. What else? Can you give me the big picture on Junk Town? Me and my men work here for Killian Darkwater. We keep some order in this town dealing with all the murderers, thieves, and other scumbags who come in from the desert. If you want my advice, you'll also stay away from Gizmo. That fart head, oh sorry, <laughs> that fat head runs a crooked operation, but we just haven't been able to prove anything. He and his lackeys, the skulls, are going to take the fall sometime soon, if Killian has anything to say about it. So what keeps you law boys from just busting Gizmo and the Skulls? Gotta do it all proper like. We know that Gizmo runs a rigged operation and all, but we need hard evidence to bring him down. Same with the Skulls. They rough someone up we bring them we bring one or two of them in but nothing changes we just don't have any direct evidence tying them to any of the killings or muggings maybe i can help with that hell if you think you can get some dirt on either of them we'd appreciate the help killian's the one to talk to if you want to talk to if you want to talk about gizmo but if you can get some info on the skulls, just come back to me and me and the boys will take care of them. Ah, oh, it's locked. Ah, oh, it's locked. I like my boss. Can I help you? Who are you? I'm Andrew. My job is to guard the jail. What are you doing? I'm guarding the jail. I make sure that miscreants don't get in or out. Why would you keep people from getting in the jail? Someone might leave something to help a prisoner escape or someone might get locked inside and stuck until we could get the keys. Oh, you have a good day and stay out of trouble. This is my...
my place. Want to hang out for a while? <laughs> it's so nice. You missed laundry day. This bed has seen a lot of use and wear. Something must have crawled between the mattresses and died, too. <laughs> That's gross. Hospital! Rom and the ever so famous two headed cows. They always said two heads are better than one. How's it going? Good, and you? The cougar is always fine. Hey, I gotta know. You need to talk to my man, Flash, here. He can help you out. Watch yourself around the dock, and I don't have to get... ...devil on your face. Doc Morbid. I'm Doc Morbid. Can I help you? I need some medical assistance. Yeah, I need some help. Oh, damn it. Ten caps for you to tell me that? You gotta be kidding. I never joke, especially when it comes to physical trauma. You will pay or I will have to resort to other forms of compensation, many of which are more painful than just paying my fee. Thank you for your business. Come again. Jerk. Kill you later. General store. That'll be Darkwater's place. Dirty magazine. Always good for a few caps. This is Junk Town. Nice place to s nice place to live as long as you stay on our good side. Okay, so this is Killian Darkwater's place. There's some really good loot in this area. If you touch that door, he's going to get pissed off. You can either fight or go to jail. So I'm going to avoid that altogether and just go straight to talking to him. Can I help you? Who are you? The name's Killian. Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? My name is Jane. I come from up north. Not much up that way except desert and shady sands. You from there? No, I come from a vault to the west. Oh yeah, sure you do. And when you were a baby, your crib was a safe. No, no, it's called a vault. It protected us from the war. It's been full of people for 80 years. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Ain't the worst story I've been told. So, what can I do for you? How about telling me a bit about this town? Well, Junk Town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. 
course, we have our share of problems. Problems? From outside, we've had the occasional to do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls. And I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. What's there to do around here? Oh, we got tons to do. The scum pit's on the east side by the entrance. Great drinking place. Gizmos is near there. And if you're hurting, Doc Morbid's your man. Thanks. Do you own this store? You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. Okie dokie. Done looking around. Well, howdy. What can I do for you today? Well, that's a damn fine coincidence. That's what this store is here for. We got about everything you can need. Let me show you some things over here. What crap can I get rid of? Oh, cat's paw. I'll need one late. I think I might need one later on, but I can't remember if it's in this game or... I don't think I need a cat's paw. I think in Fallout 2 there's a mission where you need a cat's paw. Okay, now, if I get involved, Ian's here, and Ian has this, like, absolute crap. Anyways, I'll just show you. I'm not going to engage, so I'm just going to click the turn. I'm going to check his hit points. He's severely wounded. And... He's severely wounded. Okay, I'm going to take my chances. And... Hopefully, I will kill him right away. Because if Ian gets involved, then he might accidentally hit one of Killian's men. And if that happens, then it's going to be a free-for-all, and I'll just have to reload my save. Damn it. I think I'm okay if uh, Ian hits me. Okay. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? I'll either go with I'm in or me? What do you need me for? Now, if I get proof, the people of Junktown will kick him out. The way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Can you handle that? Uh, no. Getting involved in other people's problems never works out. Whoa, sounds kind of dangerous. What do I get in return? I'll go with two. I'll tell you what. Anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours. No charge. If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. Does that sound fair? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll take your most expensive armor. All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. Came in. Now to loot the body. Ooh. 
I gain 400 experience points for helping Killian fight the assassin. And luckily, Ian didn't shoot any of Killian's men. Had he have, then Killian's men would have started shooting me. But that's why you save often. Here's the bug. Bug. A miniature microphone and transmitting device. It weighs two pounds. Tape recorder. A Watts Electronics Play It For Me tape recorder. Plays and records the standard 30 minute high density record at once tapes. It weighs five pounds. Top up to gizmos. You'd better put that away. Blah blah blah. Sounds fair. No, I already had that conversation. Oh, that's the skulls in there. I want to go to gizmos first. my sneak at? 33%. So here would be a good spot to save because if I screw up the uh, sneak then I can just reload it and try again. You can gamble in here. Not very exciting. What? Hey, can I ask you a few questions? I'm on duty, make it quick. Can you tell me about your boss? Gizmo's a fair man, pays good, works easy, don't make trouble and everyone will be happy. Okay, so I'm outside Gizmo's office. I'm getting ready to plant the bug on him. So I'm gonna go to sneak mode first. Make sure you're in walk mode. If you have always run turned on in your settings, you'll need to turn that off. So then I want to try and steal plant the bug on him. Hopefully he doesn't react. Okay, so I gain 10 experience points for successfully using the steal skill. and sneak off. Okay, now for the dialogue. What do you want? I'm a busy man. I'm here to talk about the attempt on Killian's life. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? You don't remember hiring someone to kill Killian, you stupid slug? Well, let's take a hypothetical situation. Such as? Well, let's say you did try and kill Killian, and your assassin failed. That means you need a new one to do the job, right? And let me guess, you're that someone. 
I can kill him quicker than you can spit. Well, how can I trust you? Because I've been around. I've been killed before. All right. We can do this. But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double-crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me? Okay, I could put one over on you. Just no way anyone could put one around you. <laughs> oh my god. Of course, but first I need to know why you want him dead. That's easy. I want him dead because he cramps my business. So, what are you doing for me? Yeah, could you say that again, this time in my coat pocket? <laughs> That's why I'm here. He'll be dead before sundown. Sure, it's a job. Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double-crosses me. No one. Yeah, watch me, buddy. Now to go back to talk to Killian. Okay, so once I go in here, I can either join the fight or not, so I'll just see how it goes. I can't believe you just let the dead body sit there and get stinky. So, did you get the evidence? I sure did. Which? Bug or tape? Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. I'll take a suit of leather armor. Well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Sure, it'll Maybe be worth it just to see him try to walk more than ten feet. <laughs> Kind of depends on what you're willing to give me. Well, I can pay you the standard rate for mercenary work. 500 caps. Let's see what this does. Sorry, not enough. Listen, that's all I'm offering. Thanks for getting the evidence, but I'm not going to beg for your services. All right, I'll do it for that fee. Good enough. Go see Lars. He'll give you the details. Done. Ooh, leveled up. You gain 500 experience points for securing Gizmo's confession. Now Lars is located at the start. Do -do -do -do. Uh, let's see. Speech, barter.
You ready to help take down Gizmo? You bet. Let's nail that tub. Alright, let's do it. Izzo is... what's his face's man? Gizmo. Now, if I don't get into it right away... Oops. Okay, he's wounded. He's wounded. I'm gonna skip my turn. Kinda see how this plays out. Okay, I'm gonna step to the side because Ian usually has a tendency to shoot the crap out of me. Torso, head, eyes, right leg. What the hell? in a bad spot. Severely wounded. Severely wounded. Ian might hit Killian and then this might turn sour real quick. Alright. It went my way. Perfect. So I'm gonna turn off combat. Thanks for all your help. Here's 500 caps. You're always welcome in Junktown, friend. So I gained 600 experience points for work in the defeat of Gizmo. May the bastard rest in pieces. You are victorious in combat. You earn 425 experience points. Darn, I don't have any lockpicks yet. I'll have to come back.
Gustafer. Sorry, no boxing today. When's the next match? Try again tomorrow. Saul will be boxing then. Who's Saul? Saul is the local champion. Saul is the current favorite of Gizmo. All the more reason to beat up Saul.